Hello, in this video I will give a brief introduction to Mimics to help you get started with the software. So I'll be covering how to import your DICOM images into Mimics. I'll go over the layout of the interface as well as how to navigate through your images. And so for this video I'll be using version 19 of the software which was released in 2016. So first thing I'll do is go to the file menu and go to new project wizard to import my raw DICOM images. So this will bring up this dialog box where I can select the parent DICOM folder that contains all of my images and then I'm going to hit next. So this will bring you to a screen where you can see a preview of your images as well as look at all of the information in the DICOM headers. So once you select your, the study that you want to import, you can hit convert. And so this is going to convert it into a Mimics project file or .mcs, which is going to contain all of your images as well as any work that you do to those images. And so here it's just asking me to confirm the orientation of my images. And since it pulled this information from my DICOM headers, it all looks OK. So I'm going to just hit OK. So you can see here we have our three planar views of the images. So on the top left is our coronal plane. On the top right is our axial plane. And our bottom left is the sagittal plane. And then the bottom right is our 3D window, which any 3D models that we create will populate in there. On the right hand side of the software is our project manager. So we have different tabs for let's say our masks which are our segmentations. Uh, 3D objects are below that which are 3D models. Below that are, is a tab for any STLs that you import. And then in the bottom right is our contrast tab which we can use to adjust the windowing of our images by dragging these points around. Alternatively, you can also right, hold down right click and drag your mouse left to right to change the brightness of your images. Or you could drag your mouse up and down to change the contrast windowing of, for your images. There's also some predefined sets for CT scans. So if you're going to be segmenting out bones, you can just choose the bone scale. Same for soft tissue and the like. Down here at the bottom is our logger which will keep track of any actions that we perform. It will also keep track of any undos that you do so inevitably you might make a mistake and as you hit control Z or the undo button it will let you know which action you're actually undoing so just to make sure you're not you know undoing something that you actually don't want to. Up at the top here we have our, our main menu drop downs which will contain all the tools within the software and then below that is uh, shortcut keys for corresponding to which uh, menu tab you have selected here. So most of the time I just keep it on the segment tab because those are typically the most commonly used tools that I do. So to navigate through your images, uh, we can scroll through the images using the scroll wheel on your mouse if you have one, or you can also drag this slider on the right. Um, to navigate, you can also left click anywhere on your images and that will update your crosshairs and the two other planes to that location. If you'd like to zoom in and out of the images, you can click on this magnifying glass up here and then drag you know, a rectangle around any region you want to zoom into. To zoom back out, click the magnifying glass with the red X, and then back on your plane, left click, and it will zoom back out. Alternatively, you can hold down control right click and move your mouse, and that will zoom in and out in a more interactive manner. To pan your windows, you can select this pan button here and then left, hold down left click and drag your mouse around or for the shortcut if you have a, a scroll wheel on your mouse you can push in that scroll wheel and drag your mouse around to pan around in the images. If you'd like to bring up any of these screens full screen you can put your cursor over it and hit the space bar 
and that will bring up that plane full screen. Thank you for watching.